Okay, so let us start dun sa ating first ever lesson ng HVAC. So, HVAC, ano ba meaning ng HVAC? Uh, heating, ventilating, air conditioning. HVAC. Minsan may kadikit yan na HVAC and R. Dapat nga yung system natin ganun eh. Kasi without the refrigeration system, what will happen? ba? Diba? You cannot absorb heat. Ah, na yung air conditioning mo, walang nagpa-flow dyan na refrigeration systems. And commonly, lahat ng ating HVAC systems uses a, uh, tawag dito, yung uh, vapor compression system. The simple vapor compression system okay, of the ref cycle. In order to cool, heat, okay, ang isang bagay. Now, yung HVAC and R, malawak po yan. Napakalawak na field niyan. Okay? Ang tinuturo lang naman sa atin sa school is the proper way of designing nung mga ano, mga places na kailangan ng cooling, yung humidifying, yung kailangan i-maintain mo yung kanilang quality of air. For comfort cooling, kailangan natin yan. And before we go to the design process, kailangan alam natin yung basics pagdating ng HVAC design. Okay? And we'll start with the first ever topic niya. Okay? First ever topic na hawakan ko sa HVAC. Which is psychrometry. Okay? Tingnan nyo, ito yung psychrometric chart. Okay? And the different lines in your psychrometric chart, ah, yung iba-ibang kulay na linyang yan, it designates different parameters that you can measure. Oh, in all the graphs that you have, from steam table graphs, Molier chart, okay? from the simple graphs na meron kayo ng inyong physics days, all you have to do is to get the x, y components or just two points. Dalawang point lamang ang kailangan nyo doon. Para ma-pinpoint nyo yung pinaka-parameters or any other value na kailangan nyo mag-gain doon sa points na yon. Like this one, okay? Meron tayong what? Dry bulb temperature. What does your dry bulb temperature tell? Saan mo makukuha yung dry bulb temperature? How about the wet bulb temperature? Saan mo rin po makukuha yun? Now, commonly, kung kayo dumaan na ng ating uh, mechanical laboratories, meron kayo doon ginagamit na manual thing, okay? Manual apparatus na iniikot-ikot nyo. <clears throat> And yung iniikot-ikot nyo na yun is a type of sling psychrometer or sling thermometer kung saan meron siya mga thermometer doon, mercury thermometer, kung saan yung bawat dulo niya has a dry wick of cotton or a wet wick of cotton. Now, yung dry wick of cotton, dyan ang gagaling in a certain period of time, paikot-ikot siya sa iyong kamay, mamay-measure mo dyan yung dry bulb. Kaya nga tinawag na dry bulb. Okay? The wick or the cotton na nandoon sa dulo ng iyong thermometer, okay, mercury thermometer, is a dry type of wick. Yung wick, ano ba yun? Wick. Ayan, wick. Okay. I-wick. Yan, wick. So, the wet bulb temperature. Yung wet bulb naman, makukuha mo dun sa wet wick. Yung basa na part niya. Now, commonly, mas mababa ang wet bulb sa dry bulb. And yung relative humidity, makukuha mo yan kapag nakuha mo lang ito. Itong dry bulb and wet bulb. Or, sometimes, in a given period, yung relative humidity, pwede mo makuha yan sa answer. Uh, I think makukuha mo itong relative humidity from uh, a measuring tool. Kung di ako nagkakamali is a psychrometer nga. Psychrometer. And then the dew point temperature. Okay? Mamaya, paliwanag natin kung ano ba yung dew point temperature. The humidity ratio. That determines the quality of the air you have in your surroundings or the ambient air na meron ka. So, ito, dinedesignate ng mga lines na yan, yung mga parameters na makukuha mo sa psychrometric chart. And this psychrometric chart, ginagamit natin yan from the days na na-develop ni Carrier yung buong refrigeration and air conditioning system. Okay. Oh, trivia. The first ever building that uses yung air conditioning 
ay nasa US. Andun pa rin siya ngayon. Uh, it is a building that is made up of glass panes. Kung saan, ang problema nila noon, how to cool the building. So, one one good inventor, one great inventor in the name of Carrier, invented the first ever cooling system in the form na tinawag niyang air conditioner. Okay? To cool the massive building, the massive space na meron siya. The problem with very big spaces, okay? Number one rule. The rule of thumb. Yun ang problema nila. Number one, yung ganun kalaking lugar, it needs cooling. It heats up and it traps heat. O, kaya kailangan meron kang cooling system. So, he invented the first ever HVAC system. Now, yung air natin, meron niya mga properties. Your air can contain how much humidity, how much water, vapor, in a certain temperature. Okay? And psychrometry helps us to study the properties of that mixture of air and water vapor. Okay? Meron tayong sinatawag na light air and heavy air. Yung light air na yan, tignan niyo yung mga gulong niyo, yung mga balloons. Okay? Huwag natin pag-usapan yung balloon na merong contained helium. Pag-usapan natin yung merong light air and uh, heavy air. Yung matatalino ng tao nung araw, in order to measure the weight of the air and to prove that air has a weight and mass, kumuha sila ng isang balloon. Okay? I will prove this to you that the air has a mass. Sabi nila, you cannot touch air, but you can feel air. Okay? You cannot smell air. Unlike the fart. Okay? Pun intended. Okay? Yung utot daw. How will you measure the weight of the air? Oh. You need a container in order for it to measure the mass of the air. Correct. Kaya kumuha sila ng balloon. Yung balloon na yon tinali nila sa magkabilang dulo ng isang lever, okay? a swing arm, kung saan yung isa, equal amounts of air, kasi same size ng balloon eh. They pop the other balloon, and then the balloon that does not pop out, ang ginawa, bumaba yung balloon na yun. So, number one, prove nila that air has a weight. And how will you prove that air has properties? Okay. Ano yung mga nagbabago ng properties ng air? Does it have humidity? Does it affect the cooling ng air na yon? Yung ano ba? Yung humidity ratio na apekto ang ba yun? Yung temperature ba ng air? Di ba? Sa lahat ng bagay, ang compressed air umiinit. Ano pa ba? Ang hot air is lighter than the colder air. True. Now, in your psychrometric properties, okay, meron yan yung moist air. Okay? Ang ibig sabihin ng moist air sa Tagalog, halumigmig. Okay? And these are the properties nun. Number one, temperature. The dry bulb temperature is the temperature, okay? Oh, ayan, pakita ko na sa inyo. The dry bulb temperature A dry bulb temperature is the temperature of air as registered by an ordinary thermometer. But in our case, may iniikot tayong sling psychrometer where the two tips of that uh, contained thermometer, meron tayong wet and wet and dry wick. O, yun nga makuha mo, the dry bulb. Dry. Ibig sabihin, hindi mo binasa. And the wet bulb temperature is the temperature of air registered by a thermometer whose bulb is covered by a wetted wick. Ayun yung sinasabi ko, di ba? That is exposed to a current of rapidly moving air. Kaya nga, kailangan mabilis natin iniikot yung ating psychrometer. Sling psychrometer. Ito yun. The sling psychrometer. And, syempre, hindi lang naman temperature ang kailangan natin dyan, di ba? We say that in thermodynamics, air is an ideal gas. And how will we prove that? Okay? Air is a ha- is an ideal gas because it has pressure, volume, and temperature, and etc. Okay? 
And it does follow the rules of thermodynamics. Pwede mong gamitin sa kanya yung formula ng ideal gas equation or the ideal gas law. Yan. Now, another property dun sa temperature mo, that is the dew point temperature. Dew point. Okay, dew point. Dew point. It is the saturation temperature corresponding to the actual pressure. Okay? Yan. Saturation temperature. Saan nyo makuha to? Sir, madali po makuha yan. Yang dew point temperature, okay, makukuha mo po yan. Saturation tables of pressures and temperatures ng iyong steam table. Okay? Doon mo siya makikita. Ayan, no? Kaya kasi nabing steam or vapor in the air or the temperature at which condensation of moisture begins. Kung saan, yung moisture that is contained in your air, nagsisimula na siyang mag-condensate. Mamawis ba sa Tagalog na mamawis na? Paano mo makikita yan? Kumuha ka ng soft drinks na galing ng freezer, maya-maya nagpapawis na yon. Sir, lumalabas sa loob ng ano? Lumalabas sa loob ng bote yung, ini, yung, ano, yung laman nun? Hindi. Kasi, when a cold body came in contact with moist air, ang nangyayari, nagkakaroon ng condensation when they came in contact. Kaya namamawis yung bote mo. Okay? Hindi ibig sabihin na nag absorb siya ng heat. Nagkakaroon siya ng in-contact due to the temperature difference of those two bodies in contact. Okay? Kaya kailangan natin ng heat transfer. Another property, the pressure. Okay. The total pressure of air, water, vapor mixture is the sum of the partial pressures of dry air and water vapor. This is also called and based on the Dalton's law of partial pressure. As we can say that the total pressure is equal to the pressure of the air and the pressure of the vapor. That is the total pressure. Now, ganun lang naman po yung formula natin. Okay? Where PT is the total pressure that can be measured in your barometer. Oh, ibig sabihin, that is the total pressure measured. How about the partial pressure of air? You can get the partial pressure of dry air depende dun sa kanyang temperature and volume given. How about the partial pressure of water vapor? Saan mo makukuha yun? Mamaya, ituturo ko sa inyo kung saan. Okay? And also, we can say since, ah, since the total pressure of water vapor, air vapor mixture is given by the Dalton's law of partial pressure, we can say that the temperature total temperature, the total temperature of air, and the total temperature of your vapor are equal. And, ganun din po yung ating volumes. Another property, humidity ratio. Okay? The humidity ratio of the mass of water vapor to the mass of dry air, it is also known as the moisture content. Okay? Uh, Sir, commonly, itong SH na to, may kita nyo, that is omega. Omega. Okay. 0.622 nung partial vapor pressure divided by the total pressure that is given minus the partial vapor pressure. Sir, saan po ba makukuha to? Okay. Yung PV mo, makukuha mo yan. Saan? You can get this sa temperature. Okay? Saturation temperature nung of your dew point temperature. Yung PV na yan. Saan po, sir, steam tables? Yung PV na yan. And then PT, commonly, this is atmospheric given. Okay, commonly given at atmospheric. Yan. SH or omega, pag sinabing specific humidity, the mixing ratio, the moisture content, or humidity ratio, that is omega. Okay? Where MB is the mass of the water vapor, 
and MA is the mass of dry air. How about relative humidity? Yan. Yung relative humidity, it is the ratio of the partial pressure of water vapor in the air to the saturation pressure corresponding to the temperature of air. Okay. Sinabi ko sa inyo that PV is coming from the saturation temperature at the dew point. Oh. And then pressure at dB, it will come to the temperature at the dry bulb. Yan. Ito yung makuha yan. Ayan. Where PV is equal to the saturation pressure given in your steam tables. Ayan. The specific volume. Oh, yung specific volume, ano bang unit niyan? The specific volume or the volume of air is in cubic meter per kilogram or in cubic foot per pound. Oh, itong R, this is constant. The temperature should be in absolute form. And the pressure, paano makuha yung PA, sir? Going back here. Okay? In order for it to get the PA, that is equal to PT minus PV. Yung PV can be, get, can be uh, gathered from your steam tables. Itong PT is given by barometric reading. Barometric reading yan. So, makukuha mo ngayon yung iyong specific volume of air. Okay? Now, for the absolute temperature of air in SI units, that is 0.28708. Or, in, in uh, English units, that is equal to 53.34 feet pound per pound degree run kind. Okay? Meron pa ba tayong tatanungin? I think wala. And now, for the enthalpy of that air. The enthalpy of the mixture of dry air and water vapor is the sum of the enthalpy of the dry air and the enthalpy of the water vapor. Sir, magulo. Simple lang naman eh. ba? Diba? Yung enthalpy, kapag ano, kapag any process that is equal to the U plus PV, kapag thermodynamic process, Kapag naman air conditioning, okay, that is CP multiplied to dB. Di ba ang U, okay, sa thermodynamics, U is equal to mass na CP delta T. Hmm. Alalahanin nyo yan. At constant pressure, okay, U is MCP delta T. And this one, PV, is simply the flow work. Oh, meron kang HG, okay. Tapos, meron kang W, the specific humidity, okay? Or the humidity ratio. O, simply. May formula yan, eh. I-extract pa natin. Okay? Para hindi kayo nahihirapan. Ito. Yung enthalpy na yan, okay? Your enthalpy kapag SI units, H is equal to CP, yung dry bulb temperature, Sir, kailangan pa ba absolute no? As is na yan. That CP of air is equal to 1.0062 kapag SI. And kapag English units, I think that is 0.24 BTU per pound degree Rankine. Ah, ulitin natin. Hmm. CP, kapag English units, that is 0.24 BTU per pound degree Rankine. Plus, Yung relative humidity, no, the specific humidity, gawin nyo na lang omega, multiplied to Hg of that air. At what? Hg, commonly given yan. Okay, masasolve nyo ito, nasa, nasaan? Nasa steam tables. Pero sir, paano? Paano namin masasolve yung Hg na yan if not given in the steam tables? Now, that's a dilemma. Okay? 
in order for you to solve the HG nung air na nandito without even looking to your ano without even looking to your steam tables meron tayong paraan you don't have to approximate okay for SI units you just have to multiply it with the 2501 plus 1.88 Okay, 1.88, and then multiply mo nun dry bulb temperature. Ito na yung SI units. How about English units? HG, <clears throat> ang lalabas dito kasing unit, okay, ang lalabas dyang unit is in kilojoules per kilogram. Dito naman, <clears throat> 1061 plus 0.45. Ito, degree Celsius to ah. Tapos, dry bulb, degrees Fahrenheit. Ang unit is BTU per pound. Now, hindi mo na kailangan tumingin ng steam tables. Okay? Sir, saan po ginagamit yan? Board exam. Ganun. Sa board exam po ginagamit siya. Okay? O, kompleto turo ko sa inyo, ha? Ito, ginagamit to worst case scenario, you don't have any steam tables in your hand. This is the approximation. Okay? Pasok nyo dito sa HD na to. Pero commonly, makukuha nyo namang HD na yan. Saan po, sir? Siyempre, sa dry bulb. ba diba? Tignan mo dun. HD nung dry bulb temperature mo. As is, masasolve mo na yung inyong enthalpy. Which is, ayun know, CPDB omega times HG. Ayun know, sabi dyan, no? HG at the temperature ng dry bulb. How about the degree saturation? The degree of saturation is the ratio of the air humidity ratio to the humidity ratio of the saturated air at that temperature. So, ano yan? Yung SH ito, tsaka yung SH at saturation. Kaya lang, mahirap kunin yung SH at saturation. So, we resort with another formula na kung saan we arrive with D, degree of saturation, commonly saturation degree or DS is equal to RH, the relative humidity, multiplied to, okay, multiplied to PT minus PDB. Itong PT is given barometric pressure at dry bulb, steam tables, given, ito steam tables, lahat naman yan steam tables, multiplied with 100%. Yan. Sir, Parang wala ditong relative humidity. Okay? Ayan, ayun na pala. And then, for the last part, <coughs> for the last part, uh, meron pa tayo dito mga simple keynotes. Okay? How about the useful formula? Okay? There are two useful formulas for it to get the uh, PV. Okay? Useful formulas to. Useful formulas Yan You have to resort with Lyle's formula And Yung Upjohn Upjohn formula For PV. Ano yung PV? The partial pressure of your vapor. So, let's first talk about yung kanyang, ano, yung up dyan, yung nahuli. So, for up dyan formula, in order for you to find yung SI units, okay, for SI units, you have to find yung PV, okay, that is equal to yung PSAT at the uh, wet bulb temperature. minus yung barometric temperature or your PT multiplied to dB minus wet bulb temperature divided by 1.5 SI units to ha? How about English units o PV is equal to PSAT nung wet bulb minus P, T, parometrik ha, 
DB, naka-degrees Fahrenheit to, ito degrees Celsius, wet bulb. Tapos divide mo na ang 2,700. Ang lalabas dito, English units. Ano ba ang SI units? O di KPA, anong ang English units that is PSI? Okay? That is for you to find yung PV. Kung given lang to, given yung PSAT at wet bulb, PSAT, tapos yung barometric, dry bulb, wet bulb, pero walang binigay sa'yo na steam tables, masasolve mo yung PV. Now, how about the Lyle's formula? Now, for Lyle's formula, okay, ito yung loan nung pag ano, pag SI ka, okay, ang gusto mahanap dito is uh, dry bulb, okay? Hmm. Pisat nung kahit anong ano, anong temperature, saturation nung dry bulb kung are sa dry bulb. Okay, eh, yun ang gusto mong hanapin. You just have to multiply it with the ano, it is equal to 14.43509. Ito medyo ano na to eh, medyo mahirap na formula na to. Pero kung talagang walang wala ka na ma makuwang answer, this is the last resort. 53 33.3 divided by P sat. Kaya lang ito dapat na Kelvin. Yan. Ito lang yun. Okay? Yan lang yung uh, yan lang yung formula na kailangan yung alamin. And that is uh, that is the property. Yan yung mga property. Those are the properties na kailangan yung malaman pagdating ng psychrometric reading. Okay, let us go with psychrometric reading. Ganito lang kasimple yun. O, tignan nyo ha. For the dry bulb temperature, ang dry bulb temperature mo dyan is the uh, vertical lines uh, from left to right. Yan. May kuha nyo yan. And then, how about the wet bulb temperature? The wet bulb temperatures are the slanted lines. Yan yung mga slanted lines dyan. Diretso sila ha. Hindi sila pa-curve. Diretso. And then, itong mga nandit sa gilid, pakita ko na rin sa inyo, this part, okay, yung mga graduated lines na to are the enthalpy of air. Kaya nga, kailangan mo lang dalawang points dyan in order for you to read it. Ngayon, kailangan mo rin na ruler. Kung wari, binigyan ka ng wet bulb and dry bulb, o, mapipinpoint mo na yung kanyang enthalpy, yung tatamaan niya na ano, itong slanted curve line na ito, that is the relative humidity. How about the dew point temperature? The dew point temperature is always yung ano? Is always the one na tatapatan niya dito sa dulo. Yan ang dew point temperature, the curve line. Yan. How about yung humidity ratio? The humidity ratio are the numbers on the right side. Yan, right side na ito. Yan ang humidity ratio natin. Oh, may processes din po yan. Yung processes na yun, ituturo ko sa inyo next topic. Kung meron kang humidifying, cooling, sensible heating, sensible heat, uh, sensible cooling. Tapos, uh, humidifying, dehumidifying. Ayan. Yung mga process na yun. Okay? So, ganun lang. All you need to do is to find two points. Okay? You need two points or two parameters para mabasa mo yung psychrometric chart. And it takes a lot of patience and accuracy para maitama mo yung values na kailangan mo. And, to remind you, kailangan natin dito is SI units. Kasi nga gamitin natin steam tables ay SI units for the reading. And, as a last resort, kung nagmamadali kayo para ma-check yung answers natin, okay, all we need to do is to resort with this one. Ito. So, meron ka ditong interface, you just have to click it and then input mo yung mga given sa yung value. Oh, like this one, kung wari, nagbigay ako ng dry bulb temperature na ano, na 20. Okay, may limitations din to. I think that is 40 lang, hanggang 40 degrees lang. And then, meron kang binigay na wet bulb temperature. Ang wet bulb temperature mo is 29. Okay? And then, you have to submit it. Ipa-plot niya mismo dito sa iyong psychrometric chart kung nasaan. And then, after plotting that, 
nandito na yung mga values na kailangan mo. Like the temperature of saturation, temperature of the dew point, relative humidity, humidity ratio, the ambient pressure, always yan, 101.325 kilopascals. How about the enthalpy? Ayun, nakuha niya na kagad. And we can check it after. Okay? So, pwede natin itong gamitin for our activity later. Okay? Let us take a 10-minute break. And after this, magsusolve na tayo.